Movie Man Chad here with my new YouTube movie lover friend, Big Gabe at Stuff Burrito Entertainment. Nice yeah. to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Yeah, we uh, we were talking ever since we found out we were both on We Live Film, the great website created by Movie Man Menzel. And um, we decided we've been wanting to do a video together for a while now. So we uh, hooked up, found out that uh, we were going to be in the city where Big Gabe lives. And... Um, we're gonna, I would have the opportunity to go see an early screening thanks to my mom and her good friend, co-worker, Dahlia. The movie is actually called What to Expect When You're Expecting. Did you know that? I did know that. <laughs> oh, you did? Um, <laughs> Didn't we just talk about this yesterday? We did talk about it, and the idea that we're going to stay in line for, what, three hours to see this movie? I, I, I don't know. But you, you know, know what? It'd be good. It'd be good. It, it, what, it's got Anna Kendrick. I think she's adorable. Yeah. Uh, J Lo, you know, uh, Elizabeth. It's got all these beautiful women. Yeah, and, Wait, and but they're pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> they're all, got, it, is, it sounds really weird. I guess they're all pregnant and they're married. You know, I have no idea what to expect about this movie. I'm just, uh, it's probably, it's, I think it's really cool we can meet up, hey. uh, maybe have some food and see a chick flick together, or a guy flick. It depends on where this movie is really, we'll have to talk about it once we want, see exactly. it. But uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity because it actually is playing in the very city that uh, Big Gabe lives in, so I called him up on Skype and we just talked about it and we're going to try and hopefully see this film right now. Hopefully have a review for you guys. Or you know maybe we'll talk about just meeting up and we'll we'll, we'll see we'll have to see what happens. So we got exactly. about three three and a half hours before the movie starts, and we're gonna go check it out um, and and give you some of our thoughts about it. Of course, the movie will be released this Friday, April. I'm oh, sorry, the um, Friday May um, the 18th. I think it'll be actually released what, Friday May 18th. What year is this? What, what well, today is May the 15th, uh, 16th. <laughs> I believe it's May the 16th. Yes, is it? I don't know. Let me think. What day is it? <laughs> Wednesday? Yeah. I think it's Wednesday. No, wait. Is it no, Tuesday? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday the 15th. It's Tuesday the 15th. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're shooting this on I Tuesday have, the 15th. I have no I might be time. editing a little of this, this is about. But anyways, <laughs> this is Movie Man Chad. The gig. Stop the video entertainment. About to witness what to expect when you're expecting. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Right oh, I got this beautiful stuff burrito here, Gabe. So I'm so excited good. to see a movie with you and enjoy a big stuffed burrito <laughs> in honor of having Gabe on my channel for just a few minutes. So enjoy this. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh, so good. Oh. Mm. Mm. You're right, dude. I told you, You're man. right. Having a big stuffed burrito right before seeing a movie. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we'll be back with a review of the film. Peace. Yeah. Hey, we just saw the movie. Look, they gave us three posters. Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Take it away, Gabe. <clears throat> Who's in this movie? Oh, wait, wait, we just saw, we, just for a reminder, we just saw what to expect when you're expecting. Who's in this movie again? Well, first let me describe the plot. Okay, what's the plot? It's exactly what the title says. <laughs> I mean, it's about pregnant couples. It's supposed to be about, uh, it's supposed to show uh, both perspectives, the male and the female. And uh, I think they catered more to the female. So, good yeah. job with that. Yeah. So. And there's tons of people in this movie. Yes. Anna Kendrick. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Chris Rock. Tom Diaz. Tom Lennon. That one, that one other chick from Reno 911, but who cares? Oh, uh, yeah, Reno uh, 911. Uh, uh, you remember else? Uh, Who's in this movie? Rodrigo <laughs> Santoro, whoever okay, he is. Okay, uh, yeah, a guy from 300. It is him, huh? Yeah, he's from 300. Uh, Elizabeth Banks. Ah, <sighs> that, the guy that was in Glee, the guy that plays a teacher in Glee. Oh, that's why I saw him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one guy, Chase Crawford, he's and supposedly some teen heartthrob, I don't know. Yeah, there was also somebody else in Chris the movie. Rock, Chris Rock, Chris Rock. I think we mentioned him, but yeah. Did we? Oh. It doesn't matter. There's just a lot of people in this movie. They cram a lot of stuff in it. Um, so here, we're just going to give you some of our thoughts about the film. Take it away, Gabe. Well, just like you said, they cram a lot of people in this film, and that's the problem. 
This movie was a big missed opportunity. They could have really made a good film here, giving you the perspective of the women and the, and, and the males when they're expecting babies, but instead they they just they made a goofy movie. It, it, it um... This, and this is where the editing comes in. <laughs> uh, let me see. Can I elaborate on that? Or are you done? I want to say something else. But okay, go ahead and say it. I, it has to come to me. Okay. <laughs> While I'm talking, while he's thinking, I'm going to say my opinion really quick and get to it. Yes, I totally agree with the fact that it is, is a missed opportunity. You cram all these really talented actors in them, and you give them really nothing to do. They're you, just you all... Don't really I'm sorry, you don't even care, do you? No, I, I, didn't care, I didn't care, care about anybody. I like these problem. actors. Yeah, there you go. I did not care uh, uh, about what happened in this film. I would have liked something more dramatic, and maybe with the dramatic stuff, they could have fit in the comedy and made it feel more real yes. and, and natural instead of just being so... One note. I mean, they had. They, it felt so rushed, and it almost felt like I was watching an extension of a TV sitcom. Mm. There was just nothing important about it. That does not. I mean. I, can I say something else? No, of course. I almost. Th there's a lot of uh, wonderful actors in this film, mm -hmm. and they're all playing, you know, male and female couples. I was surprised they didn't even at least try and fit in a gay couple. And and, and talk right. and talk about some of the things that they deal with, trying to, you know, uh, conceive a child or adopt a child, and show it from their 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 perspective as well. Right, right. That's a good point. I mean, that the adopting uh, element was uh, due to Jennifer Lopez and the yeah, uh, I'm just not a fan of J Lo. Sorry. And, uh, I I love I love. That's well, fine. That's uh, fine. I don't know if I love. As an it, actress, as an great. actress. In her earlier career, she was more challenging as yes, an actress. Now yes. she's just playing it safe, and I find her so dull to watch. Uh, no matter how beautiful the world thinks she is, I still mm. I, just, I, I can't. I'm just not. I, yeah, oh, she just got nothing. They don't have. There's. They don't give them anything to offer in this film. I'm actually that exactly what you said when it comes to uh, Cameron Diaz. You feel the same way about Cameron I, Diaz? I I like. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Cameron Diaz, I've never been a fan of, and you know. I she, like Cameron, but yeah, I see yeah. your point, especially in this film. They don't give anybody anything to do. Everything feels forced, and the relationship just yeah. feels like, oh yeah, this is going to happen to this person, and then all of a sudden they're all going to get pregnant at the same time. Of course, some of these characters don't really know about each other, but, but then some you find out near the end that they're all kind of related in some way. Not everybody, but some of them are in some way or fashion, and they're all conveniently and contrively uh, uh, pregnant at the same time. There's another thing that bothered me, okay. was Dennis Quaid and his son. His son is actually played by a guy, an actor, mm -hmm. I believe now, played by Ben Falcone, who is married to Melissa McCarthy. I like that actor, but I never felt that they were father and son. Well, for what, I have no idea who he was. Yeah. I can stand his character. He's a wimp. Yeah. He's such a wimp. Yeah, so. and... and Everybody just felt like they were phoning it in. You yes. Know, it just, you yes. know, I would have liked an approach, a maybe darker approach about uh, pregnancy. And I'm not saying dark like disturbing, <laughs> but you know, dark, dark like um, you know, telling the telling the truth and being honest and being more dramatic and and, and you know, what goes through it. And I think in turn, humor might come out of that. It mm -hmm. might be funny, and natural, and real. The, the, yeah, yeah, like you said, miss opportunity. This film. I would not recommend it, but um, if you got, you know, maybe it's an alternative, you know, if you're not really into Avengers or, or, Battleship. or Battleship that's coming out this weekend, you know, it is not a terrible movie. You might enjoy it. The audience we, we saw it with, you know, yeah, they laughed. Like they, they liked it. So it's just maybe not for me, but I love movies. I love all kinds of movies. I don't care what it is. I love chick flicks, and this is not a chick flick that I would recommend to anybody to see. But if you want to go see it, you might enjoy it. I didn't. These kind of movies are, are, are kind of interesting to me when it comes to comedies like this. I mean, they're not particularly well written. Yeah. Um, but, and I've said this before, I think I even said this on a recent review, I actually do enjoy the energy that some of the actors bring to the table. Yeah. This one is just a mixed bag. Some of them, like you said, they're phoning in. Uh, some of them... 
like I I I thought Jennifer Lopez was cute. I, maybe it's because I think she's cute, but I think she uh, <laughs> I think yeah. she did okay. If if anything, I probably kind of cared for her character, but not really. Yeah. Uh, the, the Anna Kendrick character, I adore uh, Anna Kendrick, and I did not like her character really. in this movie. So yeah, she's pretty. I mean, it just there's the energy level is just I don't know. I, I think. Everyone here is just trying to cut out the paycheck. That's it. This this movie honestly has no relevance. It's just I can't stress it enough. It's a missed opportunity. It could have been a really good film, something that a, a couple or just two regular guys who actually <laughs> like chick flips could enjoy. I didn't enjoy. Maybe it that take much. a date. I would never take a girl to see this movie. No. She wants to go with her. If I had a girlfriend, I'd just say go with your girlfriends and go see it. I don't want to ever see it again. No. I feel like there's better movies on the subject of pregnancy out there. Knocked Up is one of them that I can think of at the moment that I really like and I felt uh, was genuine and funny and dramatic about yeah, it how pregnant. Right yeah, yeah, it had all the right elements about pregnancy. This movie, it says it's based on a book. I've never heard of the book. <laughs> at the end of the credits, it said inspired. Like on the poster, it says conceived, but on the end credits, it says inspired. inspired. So I have no idea what this book is. I could care less. This does not make me want to have children. It does not make me want to not have children. Right. It just makes me want to go into my real life and hang out with my niece and nephews. And that'll be the real reason I want to have children because I love them so much. I love kids and I love families. But this is a movie that just, again, miss opportunities. Not funny, not enjoyable, rather dull. I at, Near the end, I just wanted it to be over. Luckily, it's not very long. It's like an hour and 40-some minutes. So, I, what would you give it out of your, your star review or whatever? I'm usually very lenient with these movies. Yes. I'm very generous. Yes. I got go 1.5 out of 5. I just didn't enjoy it. You heard it. from Stuff uh, Burrito Entertainment, 1.5 out of 5. Movie Man Chat. I am, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Again, I'm, I'm quite more lenient as well because it wasn't terrible. It wasn't a waste of time. It seems like some of the actors were trying. So, um, for the most part, I was not bored. I just was not entertained. So, on the scale of four stars that I follow, I'm going to give it two stars out of four. Just two boring, lame stars. I'm ready to see something else instead. But yeah. I really appreciate this great opportunity to come to uh, Big Gabe's hometown, see a movie with him before... It actually gets released, so that was great. We also, we also, can I mention something? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was, I was oh, yeah, going to say, this is actually my very first <laughs> screener. Really? And it was fun. I mean, yeah. the atmosphere, of the, the Mexican music that they were playing was kind of awkward. Yeah. Because they had, they had <laughs> they some, with uh, the movie. There was no, there was like just J-Lo. I mean, I, there was only one. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Diaz, it seemed like I mean, it was a lot of white people in this movie. Of course, Chris Rock, but I would have loved to see maybe a, a black couple go through this, a white couple, yeah. a Hispanic couple, a gay couple. But it was like mainly just white actors with a few little others, you know, mixed in there. So, yeah. yeah. So what were you going to say? Um, I just want to say, crap, what was I going to say? I just want to say that I'm grateful we had this opportunity yeah. to, 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 to uh, do this review together, and hopefully we can do more since we live pretty close. I highly recommend that you subscribe to... Uh, <laughs> I highly recommend <laughs> you subscribe to... Stuff Burrito Entertainment. Check them out on YouTube. And I highly recommend that you subscribe to me too. But, but definitely gotta <laughs> subscribe to Chad, man. He's great. He's please, great. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to Movie Man Chad on YouTube. <laughs> Come on, just do it. Just yeah, do it. Thank you, thank you. And I also, uh, we also together collectively want to ask you to subscribe to We Live Film on YouTube. Yes. We'll put a link in the description box below. And also check out our reviews and many other wonderful movie review uh, personalities on WeLiveFilm.com. I know what I want to mention to close this out. We met a nice couple tonight, Juan and Maria. Just want to give a shout out Good if you get a chance out. to watch this video. Thanks for saving our seats, Juan and Maria. Thanks again. And this is Movie Man Chad saying goodbye and... What's up, what's up? Oh, do mine too right there. Do mine too. What's up, what's up?